Now a Target 12 investigators exclusive. A Target 12 analysis shows that as of today, Rhode Island has reached 70% of adults fully vaccinated, making it just the fifth state to do so. You know, something that we should all be, be proud of and celebrate. But an official at the Rhode Island Department of Health tells Target 12 the goal of herd immunity for the state is still months away. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now with the details. On May 4th, President Biden said Independence Day is a target date for the whole country to reach 70% of adults fully vaccinated. Today, Rhode Island reaches that goal with just three days to spare. Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maine, and now Rhode Island have all hit 70% of adults fully vaccinated. What's the significance of that? It's the culmination of a tremendous amount of work at the state and our communities with our federal partners. Just as significant, McCarthy says, is that the state is on track within the next week to have a rolling average of fewer than 10 new cases every day. The lowest community transmission since the beginning of the pandemic. But as McCarthy explains, it's not yet time to declare mission accomplished. Do you have any sort of internal projections with current data on when Rhode Island might reach 70% of the full population? It's probably looking like sometime uh, in the fall. Reaching herd immunity will require hitting 70% of the entire state population being fully vaccinated. And with 2 to 11 year olds still ineligible, McCarthy says that's still likely months away. And then there's the more contagious Delta variant of the coronavirus spreading quickly among unvaccinated people. Something McCarthy says will become a bigger concern when people move indoors this fall. There's also the school question. Would the state mandate K-12 vaccinations for students who are eligible this fall? I wouldn't anticipate it for this fall, uh, but potentially uh, later next year or beyond. A Department of Health spokesperson tells me that 96 vaccinated people have been hospitalized and there have been more than 4,900 hospitalizations for unvaccinated people since the vaccine became available. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.